The sanctity of this place has been fouled. What's going on guys? It's the Filthy Casual, back with another gaming video. Today we're looking at one of my all-time favourite games, the original Diablo from 1996. Now this game has recently just come back on the market, with Blizzard re-releasing it for $10 via GOG or GOG.com. Now this is just a quick video, an impressions video I suppose, with some gameplay in the background, just giving you my thoughts on whether this is a game that you should download or not. Now before we get into it, I'd just like to say thanks very much for everybody who's watched over the last few weeks, and in particular anybody who's hit that subscribe button. I love you, it's been amazing. Join the Filthy Casual Army if you haven't already, and uh, yeah, let's get some more videos made. So, Diablo from 1996, I think whether you want this game or not, really, you fall into two camps uh, when making that decision. Uh, camp number one are players like myself who had it back in the day, and you're making a decision, should I re-download this game? And then the second camp are people who never had the pleasure the first time round, and you're basically wondering, is this game worth it? Is it any good? Has it stood the test of time? Now looking at the first group of people, like myself, if you played this game back in the day and you loved it, um, you know, I would download it. Just, just simply, it's just such a good trip down mem memory lane. It's very nostalgic. You know, the story is rich and deep with the NPCs and the real kind of dark, gritty, visceral dialogue. Um, you know, it's a game that you'll be scared to play. Well, I was when I played it back way back when. Um, and really, if you think about it, ten bucks, it's not that expensive. It's you know the price of a movie ticket. And I'll be absolutely amazed if you played Diablo back in the day and you load this up and you go, ugh, and I can't even bother playing it for about two hours at least, um, I'd be surprised. So I think you will get your money's worth. Um, just to be clear, what you get for your $10 is just the base game. There's no expansion pack. You've got your three classes, which are your warrior, um, your rogue, and your sorcerer. So obviously the expansion pack will be hitting us later down the line. But uh, as I say, I found the whole thing playing it very nostalgic. Uh, big smile on my face for a few hours. Um, forgotten quite how hard the game was, but yeah, it was it was good. So if you played the original and you liked it, then yeah, I I download it. You know, 20 minutes here, 20 minutes there. You know, over the course of the next few months, you'll definitely get your money's worth. Now, if you've never played the original Diablo, um, I think you're in, you're obviously in a slightly different boat. Now, the game really is still good, I think, even though it is extremely old. It's got uh, some mechanics that you might find annoying, um, and really, whether you find them annoying or not will probably dictate whether I'd recommend buying the game. So, the game's hard, uh, you know, it's a struggle. You do feel pretty much on the edge of death a lot of the time, and the death penalty is pretty severe. You, you basically go back to the start. Um, a lot of the conveniences of modern games are gone, so initially when you start the game off, you go into the dungeon, you explore, and you pretty much have to walk back on foot. Now you can get town portal scrolls that will teleport you back to town, but initially they're a bit rare to find, so you have to buy them from a vendor, uh, and if you don't have one, it's just tough luck, you've got, you've got to walk all the way back through all the layers of the dungeon to get back. Um, now if you run low on health, or you run out of health potions, you have to go back to town, otherwise you're going to die. And with the death penalty being quite harsh, you know, obviously that does take a bit of time. Your character moves quite slow as well, so you know, if you if that sounds like it's going to bother you, then you know, maybe it's not going to be for you. But the attraction to the game really is is just how kind of near to death you are a lot of the time. You've got to be quite slow. You've got to be quite methodical. Um, you know, you've only got, for instance, when you start off as the warrior, a 60% chance to hit enemies. So every third swing, roughly one in three swings, you won't even land on the enemy. And also your animation gets interrupted um, if something strikes you. So, you know, if you get surrounded by enemies, if you get three or four, you know, attacking you at once, then it becomes quite hard to actually break out of that. So that's why the game's quite hard. You know, your health goes down very quick. The enemies scale very rapidly as you go down the dungeon. So let's say you just thought, well, I'll I'll just skip level one, I'll go straight down to level two as soon as I find the exit. Uh, chances are you're gonna die. So it's a tough game. Um, but that said, it is it is fun. Um, you know, I think it is a good challenge. It's, as I say, there's lots of really cool little nuggets. So you'll find uh, books that have got like almost like fortune cookie readings in. Uh, you know, there's lots of like 
it feels like a really deep lifting world. There's lots of like lore and references to uh, to characters you know who are mentioned in further Diablo games, for example. And uh, really, I think if you are a Diablo fan at all, then I would definitely buy it. And even if you're not, if you like dark, gritty uh, games that you can sink a few hours into, um, you know, then yeah, I'd, I'd pick it up. So either way, I'd recommend it. But you know, if you want a really fast-paced game, you know, like say for example, Diablo 3, um, then this might not necessarily be for you because it is a lot slower. Now. I think Blizzard have already confirmed that some further games are on the way. They have made a partnership with GOG. Um, so Warcraft 1 and Warcraft 2 I think are confirmed. Uh, now I did play Warcraft 1 and 2 back in the day but I don't think I'd be bothered picking those up. Um, but the obvious big one, well the next will be the Diablo expansion but the obvious big one is going to be Diablo 2 uh, because that's, uh, that's a biggie. I think there are people who still have YouTube channels dedicated to that now uh, and still people who play that game and, and insist that Diablo 3 uh, really was a complete misstep. So that'll be exciting because that surely has to be following. You know, if they can do this with Diablo 1, there's absolutely no reason why they can't do Diablo 2. Um, so I think really it's going to be an interesting wait for that. Um, so if there's anybody else out there who has got this game already and they've re-downloaded it, uh, any opinions in the comments would be welcome. I'm sure people will watch this video and think, well, I don't know whether I want to go for it or not. So, you know, stick your thoughts down. Are you happy Blizzard has done this? You know, are you excited for Diablo 2? Do you think people should buy the game? Um, so, yeah, stick it in the comments. Let me know. But definitely a big thumbs up from me. So that's it, that's pretty much all I wanted to have a chat about. Um, I was going to do a Let's Play series on, on this, but unfortunately my sound card on my PC is uh, completely crocked. And whilst I can listen to the audio, uh, when I tape and listen back to it, um, there's just sections of it that, that seem damaged. So if you want me to do one, stick it in the comments and I'll do my best to fix my PC or find another one to, to do it on. Um, but other than that, um, again, let me know. Do you want more Diablo content, the original 1996 one? Stick it in the comments and I might make some more videos. But that's probably enough rambling for me. I hope you've enjoyed the footage in the background. Uh, I hope you're having a great day. And uh, I will catch you in the next video. Come back and see me soon. Thanks. Peace.